Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Jesh Reacts here, back with yet again another Tim Minchin reaction video. Yeah, I put on the red lights because that clearly was the color of the dark side. Um, gotta say, getting pretty scared to react to these videos. Uh, is intertwining a bunch of politics, a bunch of roughness into his, uh, into his comedy, which I really enjoy. But it's kind of asking of me to... Uh, Make some bold statements, which I'm uh, not ready that I can make. <laughs> so, on that note, let's jump into Storm. On that note, yeah. I uh, I heard a few things about it. Someone already spoil spoiled the beans a little bit, telling me it's not a song, but a poem. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into this. Ten minutes. It's a big poem. Um... I think I can speak for contemporary males. I, I, I don't know if you guys agree. But you, you know, you get to that. You know, you get to that point in your life. Like I think mostly in the early 30s for men, anyway, um, where you That's my age. start to realise that um, everything you want to say, every, everything you want to express in your life, can't necessarily be expressed in comedy song. My wife agrees with that. <laughs> you know, and you know, I, you know. I think it's at this point in, in your average man's life when, when he might choose to write a nine minute beat poem. A beat poem. Don't know what it is. I know a poem. Beat this poem. This is a nine minute beat poem. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Uh oh. Let's go. It's called Storm. That's the beat, I guess. In a North London top floor flat, all white walls, white carpet, white cat, rice paper partitions, modern art and ambition. The host's a physician, bright bloke, has his own practice, his girlfriend's an actress, an old maid of ours from home. And they're always great fun, so to dinner we've come. This might be a challenge, guys. I'm, uh, some of you might know I'm Dutch. Uh, kind of made a challenge to work on my English a little bit and talking in front of a crowd. Uh, it's getting better. I understand a bunch of, bunch of what he's saying, but uh, sometimes the words hit a bit late and sometimes the context can be a bit confusing to me. But nonetheless, he's getting to a dinner, I guess. The fifth guest is an unknown. The hosts have just thrown us together for a favour because this girl's just arrived from Australia and she's moved to North London and she's a sister of someone or has some connection. As we make introductions, I'm struck by her beauty. She's irrefutably fair with dark eyes and dark hair. But as she sits, I admit I'm a little bit wary because I notice the tip of the wing of a fairy tattooed on that popular area just above the derriere. And when she says, I'm Sagittarian... We all have seen her. I confess, a <laughs> pigeonhole starts to form and is immediately filled with pigeon when she says her name is Storm. The conversation That's is initially hot. bright and light-hearted, <laughs> but it's not long before Storm gets started. You can't know anything. Knowledge is merely opinion. She opines over her Cabernet Sauvignon vis-a-vis -vis some unhippily empirical comment made by me. Not a good start, I think. We're only on pre-dinner drinks, and across the room, my wife widens her eyes, silently begs me, be nice. A matrimonial warning not worth ignoring, so I resist the urge to ask Storm whether knowledge is so loose weave of a morning when deciding whether to leave her apartment by the front door or the window on her second floor. The food is delicious and Storm, whilst avoiding all meat, happily sits and eats as the good doctor slightly pissedly holds court on some anachronistic aspect of medical history when Storm suddenly insists that the human body is a mystery. Science just falls in a hole when it tries to explain the nature of the soul. My hostess... Yeah, that's just a right... Uh, she has the right person at the table in front of her to... Uh... <laughs> I would have, would have would have liked to be in an air on that in that room. 
being able to hear that conversation, whether or not that this conversation conversation actually happened, but it's uh yeah, I'm pretty sure that Tim has his opinions. Throws me a glance, she, like my wife, knows there's a chance. I'll be off on one of my rare but fun rants, but I shan't. <laughs> My lips are sealed. I just want to enjoy the meal. And although the storm is starting to get my goat, I have no intention of rocking the boat. Although it's becoming a bit of a wrestle because like her meteorological namesake, Storm has no such concerns for our vessel. Pharmaceutical companies are the enemy. They promote drug dependency at the cost of the natural remedies that all our bodies need. They are immoral and driven by greed. Why take drugs when herbs can solve it? Why use chemicals when homeopathic solvents can resolve it? I think it's time we all return to live with natural medical alternatives. And try as I like, it's not a small bad. That's a base. crack appears in my diplomacy dike. By definition, I begin, alternative medicine, I continue, has either not been proved to work or been proved not to work. Do you know what they call alternative medicine that's been proved to work? Medicine, huh? Medicine. <laughs> okay, that's what you're... <laughs> so you don't believe in any it's, it's, natural remedies? On the contrary, Storm, actually, before we... There's a, I, I guess you got placebo, right? <laughs> not to say that all alternative medicine is, uh, is placebo, but... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's alternative medicine which just hasn't been, uh, which just hadn't been researched well enough, uh, which can be real, real viable or real asset to to, uh, to some persons. But it's uh, hilarious to say alternative medicine will be called medicine if it was proven. It's, <laughs> it's it might be. It actually might be true. <laughs> it probably will. A comment like that would screw up a person like Storm. <laughs> that would be that would be opening the floodgates. Came to tea. I took a remedy derived from the bark of a willow tree. A painkiller that's virtually side effect free. It's got a weird name, darling. What, what was it again? Masprin. Ba Basprin. Oh yeah, aspirin, which I paid about a buck for down at the local drugstore. The debate briefly abates as my hosts collect plates. But when they return with dessert, Storm pertly asserts, Shakespeare said it first. There are more things in heaven and earth than exist in your philosophy. Science is just how we're trained to look at reality. It doesn't explain love or spirituality. How does science explain psychics, auras, the afterlife, the power of prayer? I'm becoming aware that I'm staring. I'm like a rabbit suddenly trapped in the blinding headlights of vacuous crap. <laughs> okay, that's uh, the thumbnail screenshot. Awesome face, Tim. No, that's uh, <laughs> it's, uh <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not really that opinionated. I'm kind of open to some stuff as well. Just like religion and all that stuff, I guess. I guess some things aren't that proven or... I guess there are some things that are there that aren't proven or don't have the right uh, information behind it. Probably should not say that against him because clearly he's very opinionated about that stuff. I guess his full-time job is thinking about those things as well. Uh, and mine is not. I'm just sitting behind a computer, writing down a bunch of different languages that a bunch of you guys don't know. So, uh, yeah, I don't got an awful lot of time to uh, worry myself about uh, some people trying to be more spiritual. Um, but I do got family who got a bunch of stones in their cars and in their pockets and in their socks and uh, behind their earlobes. Um, yeah, because it helps with everything. And meanwhile, they go to the toilet with a cell phone that uh, radiates whatever stuff that is. <laughs> it just won't ever, man. But if it makes them happy, who am I to uh, turn them down? I guess that's that might be that placebo effect. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch. Th I think the most familiar one that I think of right now is that Wim Hof thing, right? He was uh, remembering as a child. He was uh, he was trying to make a name from uh, of himself by uh, sitting in buckets of ice, 
setting world records uh, just to get people behind him and just to get things going and these days there are actually uh, studies behind it which uh, tell a lot of good things about breathing and uh, gold therapy as well so that's uh, yeah I guess we didn't uh, I guess there's still things to learn let's say that every day a new scientist uh, uh, get some kind of PhD, make some kind of new uh, 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 invention is the wrong word, but finds out something new. So uh, Tim, Tim, maybe you should get a bit more spiritual and open about it. <laughs> no, I get what he's saying, but it's uh, I know those. I know. I know people like Storm. Let's let's keep it at that. And it's fun to poke a little every now and then. Maybe it's the Hamlet she just misscoughed, or the sixth glass of wine I just quaffed. But my diplomacy <laughs> died thrones, help. and the help. asshole held back by its stones can be held back no more. Look, Storm. Sorry, I don't mean to bore you, but there's no such thing as an aura. Reading auras is like reading minds, or tea leaves, or star signs, or meridian lines. These people aren't plying a skill. They're either lying or mentally ill. Same goes for people who claim to hear God's demands and spiritual healers who think they've got magic hands. By the way, why do we think it's okay for people to pretend they can talk to the dead? Isn't that totally fucked in the head, lying to some crying woman whose child has died and telling you you're in touch with the other side? I think that is fundamentally sick. Yeah. Do we need to clarify here that there's no such thing as a psychic? What are we fucking two? Do we actually think that Horton heard a who? Do we still believe that Santa brings us gifts that Michael Jackson didn't have faceless? Are we still so stunned by circus oh. tricks that we... I, I, I kind of was expecting a different uh, way going from Santa to Michael Jackson. The, the facelifts, okay. This video might have been so old that uh, some of that Neverland fun uh, didn't make the media yet, but uh, yeah. I ex expected a different uh, transition there. You think the dead would want to talk to pricks like John Edward? Storm, to her credit, despite my derision, keeps firing off cliches with startling precision, like a sniper using bollocks for ammunition. You're so sure bollocks. of your position, but you're just closed minded. I think you'll find that your faith in science and tests is just as blind as the faith of any fundamentalist. Yeah, just like a bunch of those things you mentioned uh, aren't proven, can't be proven. Um, well, she she has the same reasoning in, uh, yeah, in kind of saying your arguments are false, you know. It's, it's real tough to uh, debate with, you know, when someone says your arguments are false because you're not open-minded. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You can't do it. Can't do anything about it. But anything you say negative about my opinion can't be true because you just don't understand it. Man, I feel like at the seventh glass of wine, the eighth one might uh, fly over the table. Right? <laughs> wow, that's a good point. Let me think for a bit. Uh. Oh wait, my mistake. That's absolute bullshit. Yep. Science adjusts its views based on what's observed. Faith adjusting its views, so, though, huh? Is the denial of observation so that belief can be preserved? If you show me that, say, homeopathy works, then I will change my mind. I will spin on a fucking dime. I'll be as embarrassed as hell, but I will run through the streets yelling, "It's a miracle!" Take physics and bin it. Water has memory, and whilst its memory of a long lost drop of onion juice seems infinite, it somehow forgets all the poo it's had in it. You show me that it works and how it works, and when I've recovered from the shock, I will take a compass and carve fancy that on the side of my cock. Side of my cock. Everyone's just staring now, but I'm pretty pissed and I've dug this far down, so I figure in for a penny, in for a pound. Like Getting a Mortal Kombat 5 now. <laughs> Finish her. Is full of mysteries, yeah, but there are answers out there and they won't be found by people sitting around looking serious and saying, isn't life mysterious? Let's sit here and hope. Let's call up the fucking Pope. Let's go watch Oprah interview Deepak Chopra. 
If you want to watch telly, you should watch Scooby Doo. That show was so cool because every time there was a church with a ghoul or a ghost in a school, they looked beneath the mask, and what was inside? Oh, the fucking janitor or the dude who ran the water slide. Because throughout it's Janet history, and Joe. every mystery <laughs> ever solved has turned out to be not magic. Does the idea that there might be knowledge frighten you? Does the idea that one afternoon on Wicker fucking Pedia might enlighten you frighten you? Does the notion that there might not be a supernatural so blow your hippie noodle that you'd rather just stand in the fog of your inability to Google? Isn't this enough? Yeah, Google is help isn't helping us a lot these days, man. I guess this storm. A storm while ever. <laughs> I guess them should do a COVID version of this one. Let's keep it at that. The media, especially the social media, uh, yeah, they kind of separated a bunch of people and families, which is a terrible thing. But uh, yeah, a bunch of similar discussion uh, discussions happened. Um, I don't think that are the, the discussions to be made, to be honest about uh, uh whether or not something works or not or is dangerous or not but um yeah different a different story different story but it's uh i feel like tim would have a nice opinion about the things that have happened over the past two years and i think storm would also have a nice opinion out the things about the things that would have happened uh, that the past two years yeah i think storm would have those just this world? Just this beautiful, complex, wonderfully unfathomable natural world? How does it so fail to hold our attention that we have to diminish it with the invention of cheap man-made myths and monsters? If you're so into your Shakespeare, lend me your ear. <laughs> to gild refined gold, to paint the lily, to throw perfume on the violet, is just fucking silly. <laughs> or something like that. Or what about Satchmo? I'll see trees of green, red roses too. And fine, if you wish to glorify Krishna and Vishnu in a post-colonial, condescending, bottled up and labelled kind of way, then whatever, that's okay. But here's what gives me a heart on. I am a tiny, insignificant, ignorant bit of carbon. I have one life and it is short and unimportant but thanks to recent scientific advances I get to live twice as long as my great 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 uncles and aunts. Twice as long to live this life of mine. Twice as long to love this wife of mine. Twice as many years of friends and wine of sharing curries and getting shitty at good-looking hippies with fairies That's Australian, right? Sharing curries. I fucking hate lemongrass. I never eat curry. <laughs> if someone has a suggestion for a nice recipe for a good curry without lemongrass, let me know and I will make a reaction. <laughs> never mind. I think a curry looks amazing, but I freaking hate just throw in some citrus, I will squeeze out a lemon, but a little sticky thing. Yeah, I might get a bunch of hate from these Australians with a bunch of Asian influence. I'll watch MasterChef. But uh, everything looks delicious, but don't dr throw in any coriander or lemongrass. You will lose me real quick. How the, how the fuck did I get you? Ah, oh, he was talking about curry. Twist it up there. Idiot, good looking hippies with fairies on their spines and butterflies on their titties. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Those girls seem like good fun. And if perchance I have offended, think but this and all is mended. We'd as well be 10 minutes back in time for all the chance you'll change your mind. Um, 
Deserve another, deserves an applause for sure. Um, I like the invention, I like him a lot. I'm not going to follow him blindly about the things he said right here. I do think science uh, should have def definitely have an open mind. He kind of, he kind of, he kind of touched it that he's uh, capable of changing his mind as long as there is anything behind it. But uh, yeah, to start investing it, I get maybe to even to start debunking some stuff. You got to start somewhere and check out something that might even sounds possible. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, I think that's a good mindset to have. Um, also to be respectful, clearly. I don't think Tim might go crazy on a, on a girl named Storm. I think he would smile and uh, I also think he would listen carefully just to get an image of how that person works and how that person thinks. I think that's interesting by itself, but uh, yeah, this poem was actually really hilarious, man. A beat poem just repeating a conversation of how you are bashing a, an innocent, sweet girl who's just uh, working on her aura. <laughs> yeah. Silly conversations. I have them. I had them a few on the internet, but uh, hey, to everybody have their own. It's uh, perfectly fine to me. They are not the enemy, so that's uh, that's what it is. I uh, everybody can do whatever they like, as long as I can find it crazy whenever I like it without being uh, called a disrespectful or a racist or uh, something like that. Sometimes I'm just. Uh, different than other people just like those person are different than me that's perfectly fine but then real nice stuff again thank you for the suggestion uh, i think i left it pretty okay not being cancelled for this one but uh yeah we'll jump into a bunch more tim mention already had a bunch of suggestions but keep them coming because i'm trying to push those suggestions together and in my mind find out which one is suggested the most so i jump on that part so let me know in the comments give me any feedback of big things i missed or something like that a curry recipe is good as well um and yeah leave the thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to see more to mention or some of the musical stuff i'm watching uh, it's pretty much all over the place but i'm trying to uh, keep every subscriber happy and uh yeah, as long as I enjoy it, I will check it and I'm really enjoying Tim right now. So a uh, bunch more is coming, guys. I see you all later. Bye-bye.